This last one is gonna be fun. Demolition Man is a 1993 sci-fi action movie starring Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, and Sandra Bullock. When a super cop named John Spartan apprehends the terrorist Simon Phoenix, he fails to rescue the hostages who might have been completely in sight. I mean, really, why didn't you check the crates? For this, both Spartan and Phoenix are sentenced to cryogenic prisons. Forty years later, Phoenix escapes and Spartan is thawed out to apprehend him once more, but this time in a completely politically correct future. If Fahrenheit 451 is a warning about political correctness, the Demolition Man is a satire of political correctness. Things such as the police being unable to arrest a single person, nor are they even allowed to touch them, the embargo of anything not vegan or educational, and the elimination of physical sexuality. Wow, so this is what the Clinton and Gosef Dorgan administration will lead us to. This also has an underground resistance who believes in freedom of choice, aka us. And this group is run by Dennis Leary. This early 90s action blockbuster is a lot more intelligent than you think. Not only did it predict the many trends that regressive culture exercised, but it also used the cliches at the time to make a pseudo meta film. Unintentionally, actually. I mean, it's considered one now, but yeah. The overall theme is that sometimes when you have to choose political correctness versus chaos, sometimes you just need to be in the center getting the best of both worlds. And somewhere in the middle, I don't know, you'll figure it out. So, if you want a fun 90s action flick that is more intelligent than you think, check this out. Demolition Man, welcome to the Gamergate Film Festival. And this concludes this year's festival. I would like to thank everyone who watched these this year, and I hope to do this again next year. And now, the final shout out. Thank you for watching. If you like these, please give us a skull and ebert and please subscribe. Ashkai Old Toe.